Hi boys and girls, in today's video we're going to be doing some maths and we're going to be looking at some symbols that we've got here. The greater than, less than and equal to sign. Now firstly, let's focus on our words, okay? Let's forget about these blue symbols at the minute. What we're going to look is what the word greater than means. Let's say I've got some counters, okay? I've got four counters here and I've got two counters here. Okay, I am saying that this group is greater than that group. Great is another word that means bigger. Okay, so greater means bigger. Sometimes you say great, you mean something's really good, but when we use it in maths, when we use it like here, and we say this number is greater than that number, or that group is greater than that group, we're saying it has more, it is bigger. Okay, and let's move on to less than. We can swap our counters around. So if I had two on this side, okay, and four on that side, I'm saying this group is less than that group because I've got two in this group, one, two, and I've got four in this group, one, two, three, four. Now our last one, our equals sign, equals means the same as, okay? So that would look something like that. I've got two counters here and two counters there. So I am saying that this group is equal to the same as that group. Okay, so now we know what I mean when I say greater than, less than, or equal to. Now, with our ones here, we've got little groups there, so we can see if we've got groups of things like counters, or toys, or sports equipment, or anything it is we can see groups. We can also do it with numbers. So I could say that the number five is greater than the number two. I'm saying five is bigger than two. On this one, I've got less than, I'm going to say less than, so I could say um, 12 is less than 25. Because 12 is a smaller number than 25. We get to which first one I count up. And then the same with equal to. I could have 32 and 32. I'm saying 32 is the same as 32, which it is because they are the same. So... Now we know what greater than, equal, less than, and equal to means. We've got some signs here. We have got this arrow pointing that way, an arrow pointing this way, and our equal sign. Now we're going to start with equals. We'll start at the bottom first because you have seen equals quite a lot. We don't need our vocabulary anymore because we're going to find out that these signs mean the same. Okay, we start with equals because we use that on our sums because when we say 2 plus 3 equals 5, we're saying 2 and 3 is the same as 5, which it is. So, let's go straight with numbers rather than objects. Let's say I've got number 3, number 3. I am saying 3 is equal to 3. I'm saying those are the same. Okay, same if I had it with groups. So, see I had counters. I'm saying 3 counters is the same as 3 counters. Okay, let's work our way up then. So this sign means less than. So I might say that two is less than five. Okay, I might be saying two objects is less than one, two, three, four, five. Okay, two is less than five. And let's swap those numbers around because this sign at the top is our greater than sign if we remember. And we are seeing that 5 is greater than 2. 5 is bigger than 2. Now that's easy when you've got them up there to remember. But we, these signs are very similar. They just swapped around the direction they're showing, aren't they? So the hard thing is remembering which one it is that we need to use. And to do that, there's a couple of ways we do it. One way we can say that this side has two points. And this side has one point. So this has more sides. So that's where you put your big number. This one has less sides. So where you put your number that's less. The same here. Look. With our less than. We've got two points there. So there's more points on this side than that side. That's bigger. That's greater than that side. The way I do it and I remember it is I've got a big gap here. Big gap. So I put my big number on this side. And a small gap, they're actually touching, there's no gap at all. So that's my small number. Same here, look. Big gap on that side, so I'll put my big number and a small gap on that side. 
the last way to remember it is the way everyone enjoys remembering it is our crocodile. So it looks like a big crocodile's mouth. And what we see is the crocodile is very hungry. And because he's very hungry, he wants to eat the bigger number. Because the smaller number wouldn't be enough. He'd still be starving. So if we see we can draw it as a crocodile, the crocodile is eating the bigger number. Okay? The crocodile is eating the bigger number. So when you draw your sign, try and picture it as a crocodile. Is he eating the bigger number? So, let me put some numbers on the board here. And as I'm doing them, I want you to try and work out which symbol I would put in my boxes here in the middle. Okay? And what I'll do, you can do them as I'm going through. And if you're not quite done by the time we get to the end one, you can pause it for a little bit to have a go. So this one I'm going to draw some objects. Okay. And uh, this one, let's do a num some numbers on this one. Let's put... Seven and twenty-three. I think what we'll go in the middle there. Um, let's do some numbers again. Let's do. Actually, let's do some objects again. Fifty-four and one with that one. And then lastly, let's go with. 25 and 24. If you haven't had a thought of what you think goes in each one there, have a little pause and then when we come back, now we're going to go through. So on this one, let's have a little look. We've got one, two, three, four, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this number has more. It's easy to see when we've got a picture. Um, so we know there's more there. So we would put in this sign. So a crocodile is eating the bigger number. This one, we've got 7 here and 23. Well, we've only got 1s here and we've got 10s and 1s here. So this number is bigger, 23. So, again, we would have the crocodile eating the bigger number. Now, on this one, we've got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The same. Can you remember what the equal sign looks like? Yeah, two lines. You use that one a lot. Right, this one, we have 54 and 1. Okay, this side, much bigger than one, isn't it? It'll take a long time to count from one to 54. Again, we've got tens and ones. We've only got ones here. So we would put this symbol in, the greater than symbol, because 54 is greater than one. Crocodile's eating the big number. And your last one, two numbers that cross, 25 and 24. Okay, well, we know there's more than 25. So again, we would have our greater than symbol to say it's greater than 24. So we've got four is less than six, we're right. We've got seven is less than 23, right again. Three is equal to three, super. 54 is greater than one, and 25 is greater than four. So your first job when you get these questions is to work out which number's bigger, then remember which side to put in. I hope that's helped. And if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, see you later.